So here we are in the woods. Uh, this is the woods I'm always talking about. It's about a block from our house. So the houses are up there. And someone conveniently put uh, some bridges here over the creeks and streams. And yeah, the dogs love it out here. Sorry if I'm sniffing. It's, oh yeah, they go in the water. Doesn't matter, they'll, they'll go in the water. Don't break through the ice. Yeah, they just they just can't resist water these guys. You're gonna break through and then what are you gonna do? Yeah, see? Out. And then someone has this other bridge here. So this river here, our little stream or creek, leads down to the Thames River. Yes, we have a Thames River in London, Ontario. <laughs> they they like uh, throwing all the British names in here in London. Yeah, these guys get their exercise out here. And then um, later on I'll show you uh, the Thames River. So this is a part of the river where they'd like to jump into on a hot summer day. But it's pretty iced over right now. It's not too deep. Okay, Abby, let's go this way. This way. Yeah, there's actually, um, there's a lot of deer back here, fox, turkeys. There's actually coyotes, um, but uh, I think Frank saw the coyotes a couple times. I've seen it once, and uh, yeah, Sophie, our late Sophie, got bitten three times by coyotes. She doesn't stay close. Like Abby and Mildred will stay close to us, but Sophie liked to take off, so she had a few run-ins. But there's lots of sticks in that to grab here if I need to, but you're usually more out at night. So right now, I'm on top of a hill. And then there's a gully down there, and then on the other side's a golf course. So in the gully, you probably can't see it, but there is like a stream going through there. But it's all iced over. It's really beautiful back here in the, uh, in the fall. And the girls stopped a while because they heard this tree creaking. You can hear the tree creaking away there and they're just not quite sure what that noise is. Okay guys, let's go. And there, ladies and gents, is the Great Thames River of London, Ontario. And then uh, we'll be going down this pathway parallel to the river. Where are you guys going? Yeah, this, uh, this poops them out. Keeps them out of trouble. But it's very, very peaceful here. Even though we're just a stone's throw from civilization, just very, very quiet and peaceful here. Oh, you got ice in your paws? Well, this is where that little spider dropped down. wonder if I can find him. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be able to find him. Okay, I guess we're going to head back. Let's go, Mandy. In this area, there's a lot of evergreens, and it always reminds me of the Lord of the Rings movies, where Frodo's sword turns blue and there's orcs nearby. So I'm just expecting little orcs to come bursting through. Oh, there they are. So I'm almost done the hike. We've been out for about an hour or so. And yeah, I got rosy cheeks. Before this, I was doing paperwork and I was falling asleep. But man, I'm wide awake now with this cold air. It's um, it's bitterly cold, but I'm kind of sweating actually. Uh, I know some people despise the winter and yeah, by, by end of February, I'm usually ready for spring. But you know, uh, if you can't beat it, join it. <laughs> um, it's great exercise. 
Uh, the landscape here is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, Frank's out west skiing. He's supposed to come back today. Uh, so it's just me and the puppies out today. Um, but yeah, if you just dress properly, uh, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you don't like the winter, you don't like the winter. Um, but yeah, you just, uh, I always try to find ways of enjoying the winter in any way I can. And these woods are kind of my sanctuary. Uh, it's a great place to just kind of clear your thoughts, get some ex exercise, and uh, kind of revive yourself for the rest of the day. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the little walk in the woods. And uh, yeah, the puppies are absolutely loving it. They don't want to go in, but I have to get them on the leash soon. And I'm gonna go make some hot chocolate. And since I just woke up now with this cold air, I'll uh, finish my paperwork today and I'll be all caught up. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay warm and take care. Okay, I got my hot chocolate and I put some of this um, chocolate peppermint flavored foam topping on top and then I'll show you what I am melting so Frank just phoned me he's um, in British Columbia skiing he's supposed to come back today and he just phoned me to let me know that um, when they flew they flew out of Hamilton Ontario and Hamilton got about a foot and a half of snow so uh, his plane didn't arrive so they're stuck in Vancouver um, uh, he won't be back till Tuesday morning instead of uh, tonight. Uh, so anyway, he says uh, he's just um, touring Vancouver with his friends and uh, sending me some pictures. And uh, yeah, definitely I would like to check out Vancouver. Looks beautiful. But anyway, hopefully I'll make it home safely and soundly. And uh, so in the pantry area, oh this um, this computer. I usually this is the one I download in. Um, download my videos on and it's gone kaput so I'll have to see if Frank can uh, do something when he gets home because I got all my videos and pictures on there but I can still use the other camera uh, computer to download but that's a pain in the butt so in here I am melting vanilla cookie crunch I know a lot of people like to mix this with other uh, fragrances I like it on its own it is I pick up a nutty kind of smell um, myself and uh, yeah this one I can't smell too much anymore so it's probably pretty well time to switch it out and then oh, Abigail leaves shoes all over the house they're just half the time I can't find my shoes she just picks them up and plops them anywhere she wants and then in my uh, bulb warmer I have the old classic Sensationals Tea Time and I do have about three or four backups. Um, I really don't want to run out uh, but it is just a fabulous scent. It is so strong. I mean it's changing color in that but it's still so strong and I just love this one and I wish to God they would bring this one back. I know so many people like it so I do hope they bring it back sometime. And then over here in my little sled, I have uh, Bath and Body Works sweater weather. And I uh, burn this all through fall and winter. It's just such a bright, um, lovely scent for the, the winter. And in my centerpiece, uh, I have Yankee's, um, oh, what's it called? Don't have the top here. The S Snow Dusted Bayberry, I think it is. A uh, little different from Holiday Bayberry from Yankee. I do like this version better. It just uh, has a little more um, like a sweet current in there, but it's, I mean, it's still definitely Bayberry, but um, it's just tamed down a little bit. Uh, but it, yeah, I, it's quite strong actually in my little centerpiece. So Millie ran through the woods for an hour. She's still raring to go. And this little one here is. Uh, 
ready for a big long nap. And I got the fireplace going. Um, there's definitely a wind chill out there today. And then I believe I have Colonial's, uh, I think this is blue spruce that I have in here. Not overly strong, but you, you can just make it out in the family room here. Um, but uh, yeah, it is quite, quite a nice one there. And um, oh, maybe Millie's ready for a nap. She's getting her, her bed all ready there. And then in the bathroom, the powder room, I have um, fresh pulled toffee. I just like fresh kind of scents in the bathroom. I can't do bakery in the bathroom, but just kind of lighter, brighter, fresher scent. And this is kind of a, a very, um, uh, it does smell like sweet, uh, sweet candy. And it's just a, a little more refreshing in here. And then in the office, I have mistletoe going. Now, believe it or not, this was poured in 2010, but I did buy it in a semi-annual sale just a few years ago. Um, but this one's actually, I wish they would all throw this well. This one's doing quite well. It's filling up my office and wandering out into the hall. It's kind of a sweet evergreen scent but it's lovely i really do like this one and i don't have anything in here going presently um, but i'm going to try this one i found it at lowe's uh, carolina harvest woods it really really smells good um, so i just started it last night and i didn't really get a good feel for it um, so maybe later on i'll i'll give that one a try in my bedroom i have dw candle uh, DW home warm tobacco and musk oh this one is so good I love the label on here and it's a two wick burning very well no issues with the burn strong throw it's filling up my bedroom and wandering down the hall it is just oh, it's a sexy scent it's just it's like um, soft musky sweet leather hint of tobacco and yet yeah, is musky and soft and warm. Just love this one. Hope to find it again. So that's what I'm burning on this bitterly cold day here. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe and warm. And um, I hope if you've got a lot of snow, just uh, stay safe. And uh, we'll see everyone soon. Bye-bye.